Hi guys, this is a current challenge. It's called delete duplicate value notes from a sorted linked list. So what we have to do in this challenge is very straightforward. We simply have to traverse our linked lists, find nodes that have duplicate values and perform deletions in a way that by the time we are done deleting, we no longer have duplicates. So before I jump into my code, I want to show you this illustration here. What we have to do in this challenge is traverse our linked list. So as we go through it, we're going to have access to the current nodes, and we'll also have access to the next nodes in our link list via the current.next pointer. But we also need to have access to the previous node so that after we delete our current nodes, if there are any duplicates, we can link the previous node to the next node in the link list. To find which node we need to delete, we need to make some comparisons. So as we loop through our link list, we're going to compare the data from our current nodes with the data from the previous nodes. And if the data is duplicated, then we know that we need to delete our current nodes. But as I explained, if we delete the current nodes right away, we can't link the previous nodes with the next nodes because the connection is going to be lost. So what we do is we simply get a pointer. We are going to call it temp in our program and temp is going to point to the current nodes. And then we are going to move this current pointer to the next pointer. So current is going to become current.next. We can go ahead and ensure that the connection is established between the previous node and the new current nodes. And if that connection is well established, delete this from memory. So in code, this is what it looks like. This here is my solution. We have this function called remove duplicates, and it's supposed to return a node pointer. So we're going to receive the head pointer in that link list as a parameter, and we need to verify if it's null or not. It's possible that the head is going to be null in this challenge. And if it is, then we need to simply return it. We don't need to do anything else. If it's not null, then that's when we can apply this whole logic that I just explained here. So we're going to have our current pointer is going to point to the next node in the link list because it's supposed to be one node ahead of the previous nodes. So the previous node is going to be the head, which by now we know is definitely not null. And the current pointer is going to point to the next node. Now that we have data to compare, we can simply enter this while loop, which we will run until current becomes null. So far as current is not null, then we can compare the data from the current node to the data in the previous nodes. If there is a duplicate, then this is going to evaluate to true and we'll enter our if statement here and we will create our temp node here. So temp is going to be equal to current. This is what you see right here. Temp is being created so that it points to the current node right here. Now that this has been taken care of, we need to move our current pointer to the next node in our linked list. This current pointer here becomes current.next. That's why you can see current written in black here. Next up, we establish the connection between the previous node and the new current node. In here, this link gets removed and instead it becomes this one right here. And now we can go ahead and free our temp nodes. So when this runs, it will be just as if we had removed this whole thing here. Otherwise, if there are no duplicates, then we'll simply jump here to this else statement and we will move our previous nodes one node ahead and the same thing for our current nodes. So once we're done with the loop here, the whole processing, we can simply return the head pointer. So let me run this code first, then I'm going to submit it. And if we pass all the test cases, I will switch the language to C. So the first test passed successfully. I'm now going to submit this. We've also passed all the test cases in C++. So I'm now going to switch to C here. I believe I already have my code. You can see the logic is the same. We verify if the head is null. If it's not, then we go ahead, we get our previous pointer and our current pointer. We use them in our while loop here. As we traverse our link list, we compare their data. We get our temp node here or our temp pointer. We move our current pointer. We establish a connection between the previous nodes and our new current nodes. And we delete the node that had duplicates, which was previously our current nodes. Otherwise, we keep moving our pointers ahead because we want to keep traversing our link lists. So when we are done, we return the head and that's it. So I'm going to submit this right away and we'll be done. So that's it for this HackerRank challenge. If you liked my HackerRank solution, please subscribe to this channel, turn on your notifications and I'll catch you next time.